Morning, Manna Church. Ben Goodman here. I want to welcome you to week three of Manna's 21 days of prayer and fasting. I am really excited about what the Lord has in store for us as we seek Him with all our hearts. Our morning manna devotionals during this time are designed to encourage us, inspire us, and equip us so we can make the most of this special season of pursuing God. Each week focuses on one of manna's operational principles. The first week, we focused on the Bible is the handbook of life. Last week, we focused on devotion to Christ is the place where the human heart is most satisfied. This week, our theme will be the presence of God is a person. He is the Holy Spirit. Now, mentioning the Holy Spirit gives rise to a wide range of reactions. For many, the Holy Spirit is somewhat of a mystery. How to understand and relate to the Holy Spirit is a bit unfamiliar, a bit unclear. Others, for whatever reasons, are simply uncomfortable with discussions about the Holy Spirit. No matter what your reaction is, the good news is that we can trust and be anchored by what the Bible has to say about the Holy Spirit. The truth is, the Holy Spirit is a person, and not just any person. The Holy Spirit is God, the third person of the Trinity. You know, God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit is not a force. He is not an experience. He's not a thing or an it. He's not a form of power or energy. The Holy Spirit is a person. The Holy Spirit is God. He's important. And as we shall see throughout this series, He is indispensable. The Holy Spirit is a major player throughout all of Scripture. He's mentioned first in Genesis. He hovered over the chaos and emptiness of the earth and then executed the words of God to bring order and life. The Holy Spirit was crucial to Israel's, to Israel's journey from captivity in Egypt through the wilderness and into the Promised Land. The Holy Spirit was very involved in the lives and ministries of the prophets. King David wrote often about the presence of God in the Psalms. Jesus' birth, his life, his ministry, even his resurrection were deeply connected to the person and ministries of the Holy Spirit. Jesus himself taught his followers a great deal about the nature and importance of the Holy Spirit. And after his ascension to heaven, Jesus poured out the Holy Spirit on those who gathered at Pentecost. He promised that the Holy Spirit would be available not just to them, but to all who would call on the name of the Lord. Yes, even to us. The book of Acts speaks of significant kingdom advancing outpourings of the Holy Spirit. In his letters to the churches, the Apostle Paul taught extensively on the Holy Spirit. In addition, Paul directed all believers, not just the believers in the early church, but to all believers, you and me, to not only know about the Holy Spirit, but to be filled with the Holy Spirit. You see, Paul's heart and God's was not that we would just have accurate biblical knowledge about the Holy Spirit, but to actually experience the person and power of the Holy Spirit in our lives, to actually experience relationship with the Holy Spirit. For the rest of this Morning Manna series, let's explore how God wants to help us to do just that. Let's start with a prayer. Holy Spirit, we open our hearts and our minds to you. Give each of us a strong desire to learn more about you and to pursue fellowship with you. We want to experience you, not just know about you. Amen. See you tomorrow.